top of the morning to you lads, my name is Sora. No, I'm sorry, uh, if I ever start a video like that again, just fucking unsubscribe. Anyway, today's topic of the video is about grime music, and more specifically, a feud going on between two grime artists, but I'll... I'll get onto that in just a moment. For now, I'll tell you about who uses grime. Who does use grime? Well, n mainly in the region of South London or South East London, wherever you call it or something. There's roadmen. There's a category of human called roadmen. Now, it's usually, as far as my way in the UK, a roadman, what is a roadman? What we're we talking about? Road Mike, Stratford, baiting out skets. That's a roadman. That's what I mean by roadman. Everyone knows what a roadman is. They, you know, often rap battles and stuff, you know, and common fights between between feuding gangs as a white middle class privileged boy I'm not quite sure what all this means however in England there is a there is a, you know a young age group described as chavs now these chavs can somehow mistake themselves for roadmen I'm I'm not quite sure how that happens I'm you know commonly wears you know adidas tracksuits and stuff you know to try disguise themselves as roadmen you know wear all the common gear and stuff try to talk like them you know brap brap it for throwing up gun signs and thing and they often try to spit fire, so when you think of grime in the UK, it's off it's obviously not good, but trust me, that shit. What the fuck did I say then? It's obviously not good, but it's obviously not good, but what? I didn't even finish my sentence before going on to the next one. I'm, I'm sorry if you can't understand me, I'm what the fuck was I doing? Trust me, that shit is fucking banging, bled. It's banging. You don't want to listen to the bad stuff, but but don't let me, an English boy, tell you what British grime is lit. This American man described to you what grime is. I'm sure he can do a much better job. I'm really glad my boy Saran decided to get me in on this little video talking about grime rappers. Now before he briefly explained what a grime rapper was, I had no fucking idea what it was or what it took to become a grime rapper. I know here in the United States we have so-called rappers every five fucking feet from you it seems like, coming out with their hip-hop beats with that distorted voice overlay that sounds like this. I'm a rapper coming out from the streets. My family is poor, my girl's ugly, but unlike my beats, they're good. My dick is small. My uncle raped me when I was only three feet tall. Child rape. It's not funny, but it taught me how to be a rapper. Word. And that's basically how the rap game works where I'm from, it seems. But anyways, I looked up one of the more famous grime artists known as Stormzy, and I listened to his song Shut Up just to get a better idea of what a grime artist really was. Well, after watching the whole three-minute rap video, I had no fucking idea what he was saying the whole time. He looked pissed, and he probably was talking shit about the horrible men that brought him into this country King Kong style. So from watching the video, it seems to me that to become a relevant and grime artist, you need to be sponsored by a shoe apparel company, which I guess makes fucking clothes these days. Have a bunch of angry chocolate men repeating your words to make it sound more intimidating. Even though this guy looks like he was invited to the wrong fucking party. But just from this video alone, I took it upon myself to watch other grime artists, and it seems like it's all the same shit. Somebody filming themselves rapping to a shitty beat while occasionally someone makes a loud remark as if they just spit mad fire. I may be wrong, but grime just sounds like overhyped British words with so-called rappers that wear spiffy clothes even though they're being recorded by someone's pregnant sister and being uploaded to YouTube. Seems really fucking stupid to me. Now suppose I told you about the, you know, the upper tier grime artist, you know, Stormzy, Skepta, Fuck. Uh, like I said, I'm a fuck, you know, middle class, white boy, privileged, don't quite know many grime artists. But what I do know is a place in Britain called Blackpool. Blackpool Grime Media. BG Media. And that's where all the top shit, banging, lit, bread, brap, brap, and ting. When you go on to BG Media, you take a fire extinguisher for how much fire is going down there to fam, fam, ting. Anyway, when you enter BG Media, you know gonna find your common grime artist you know you're not gonna you're not gonna be all like oh shut up no shut down don't at me blood no you're not gonna be greeted with that what you're gonna be greeted with afghan dan that better get back in his box tic tac better be getting off back to his box if not who else we got we got cutie all facts on the line all mine don't try to take man's pocket all mine got a locket got your bird locked off bro oh we can't miss out shelton he telling all you do is chat shit say i got black teeth and i sucked on dick and my mum is a snitch yeah, no, actually, no, let's miss out Shelton. Fuck. Oh, 
Whoa, get out. All these quality grime artists. And yet, who am I going to be talking about? Let me think. I'm going to be talking about Lil T and Sophie Aspen because that's where the views are at. However, before we start talking about some tier five road men, you know, Sophie Aspen, Lil T, and a guest star who, we, uh, who will not be named until later on in the video. If I'm going to be talking about these absolute gods, these legends, I'm going to need to dress the part. Just in case this grime just gets a bit out of hand, I'm just going to need a couple tools, you know, for listening to this absolute fire. Put them there. Now, if you don't know who Lil T and Sophie Aspen is, just let me give you the quick rundown. Oh god, that was the gayest thing. Now, Little T and Sophie Aspen, you see what was going on in Grime Media? What you're allowed to do is you're allowed to send. I don't. Uh, is it called a diss track? Oh, so, I don't. I don't know. Little T sent for Sophie Aspen. Obviously, Sophie Aspen. What happened in them things? She replied. Things were getting to our hand. It was getting too serious, and BG Media was like, "No, we're shutting this shit down now." They took it off. It's off BG Media. <laughs> Where is it now? Where is it? Where is it now? Let me fucking quickly Google. All their videos are now on TRP Vision. Four videos on that channel and they somehow have more subs than me. That's, that's disappointing, that is. They were taking everyone off BG Media. It was too good. You don't believe me, just listen to this. Here we got sample of Little T sends to Sophie Aspen. Sophie, we know who you are. You're that girl who copies my boss. You're that girl who is a retard. Look at your makeup, look at your dress. As you can see pure fire it's very understandable to why it had to be taken off but there obviously had to be a reply something that devastating to someone's career couldn't just be left so 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 fast been sophie aspen i'm not quite sure at this point anyway the this girl with a huge nose then sent a reply and oh boy you guessed it it was it was fire. Sent it for the goon who sent for me. He's thinking he's all Jerry Sultz. Be careful, you're gonna get done when you see you be crying all the way home. Yes, it's Josh and he thinks he's sick. Walking around like a sly little prick, like a sly little prick, because that's what you was. Send it for me with your worthless balls. But now for the part you've all been waiting for. There was a reason to this video. I didn't just make this video on an age old topic of Sophie Aspin and Little T. No. There's someone new to the feud. Now, what do I mean? There's someone new to the feud? Well, we got a third person. Who is the le it's Big C! It's Big C! Now who is Big C? Well that's what many other people asked really to be honest. He, s he made a scent diss track not only to Little T but to Sophie. It was a dual diss track. Now that is some edgy territory right there. He's obviously a top class, maybe even a tier 6. Passing tier 5, obliterating them too. This is fucking cringy, what I'm saying. They may be wondering, what is it? We gotta hear Big C in action. Let's do this. Fuck little teen Sophie Aspen. Pure waste man, you know? Right, let's go. Clearly, this man is not a force to be reckoned with. He just called Sophie Aspen and little T a pure waste. That's a pure, not a waste man. A pure waste man. I mean, you tell they're gonna be afraid by this kid. You, you, Look at him! He's got a man bag! The clothes! But the way he is, he's holding a phone in a park. He's basically Stormzy! Turn all this shit on Facebook over some stupid fucking rhymes. Come round mine and you'll get spun four times. Yo! Spun four times from Halifax Hill. Hate me. Not only did he call this feud, this history changing feud, stupid fucking grime. Who does this kid think he is? Look at you. Cheeky cunt. But he also gave away his uh, home location, so if by any chance Lil T and Sophie Aspen did want to find him, he, he made it a lot easier. Man like me from HXV, make him pee, don't come against me. That full time is not your time, so even try to fucking rhyme. This kid is making some bare pee, apparently. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure you are, mate. You're younger than me and you're making some bare pee, aren't you? I'm sure you're telling the truth. But also that, he's telling Little T and Sophie Aspen that black pool grime is not your time. So don't even try to fucking rhyme. They got shot down by this kid. Jesus Christ. Look, T, you not like me, bro. What's that stupid look he gives the camera? 
That's the most like, oh, what is it? Have you shit your pants? What have you done? Stop yapping, stop yapping. You bad ass shit, that's why they're quick. If you fight me, I'm going to relegate you and kick you out the league. Now it does take a true grime god to tell another grime artist that their bars are shit because they say them so quick. Not only that, but she's gassing. She's gassing, fam. If you don't know what that is, I didn't look. I didn't have to search this up. I already gassing. I mean, she's lying. She lies. Not only that, but he's gonna relegate you, fam. Gonna, gonna re, gonna, gonna. Define relegate. He's gonna assign an inferior rank to you, Sophie Aspin, to top off this amazing music video at the end. He got his friend to just blow a nice big old fat vape cloud in to prove that they're not dickheads. They're, they are roadmen. So, anyway, guys, hopefully this video wasn't entirely shit and you actually made it to the end here. I'd just like to thank my friend Sir Pause. Link down in the description to his channel. And if you want to see me do more videos on stuff like this, you know, grime music, things like, you know, whatever you call UK thing, UK, hashtag UK stuff, yeah, black but happening into Drop a like on this if you want to see more stuff like this and uh, comment about how my hair's so shit. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Well, hang on, I gotta think of an outro. Um, what does what does someone else do? Um, Peace. That was fucking gay. Okay.